Finally, as promised, we're going to look at HTML links again. So here we are within, uh, well, let me just back out again. My websites. This is the folder where we have all our website files. So what I can do is I can select them, right click, and you see I have multiple options here to open or do something to the files. I have opened with Sublime Text 2, which is the text editor that I've been using throughout this series. I also have another text editor here, Notepad++. Let's take a look at Notepad++. I'm going to do it with one file. So you see it's, it's quite different looking and it has the same basic behavior though, where it will color your code so you can differentiate between the HTML, which is in blue here, and the text and uh, the code completion, a whole bunch of other capabilities as well. The only reason I mentioned this, I just want you to see that there's many code editors out there. Another thing you can do is you can select all your files you need to edit and just hit open with whatever app you want to open them with. I'm going to use Sublime Text 2. And you see here they are. Each one of the files has its own tab. So it makes it kind of easy to work with. So what we're going to do first is look at a new attribute in our page. So I've done it here actually. Well, I've done two things at the same time. First of all, let's look at this line here. So uh, specifically, if you look at the href, the hypertext reference, and you'll notice that it says mail to, and then I have an email address. You see, what's built into the web browser is the ability to use mail to, and the web browser will then launch your default web app so that you can uh, send an email. So let me show you what that looks like in the browser. And here it is. So uh, if you click on this, you'll see the email app launch. Okay, now that we've got that done, let's look at something else. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you notice I have a new attribute inside of our a tag, which is our hyperlink tag, and the attribute is target. Now, what target allows you to do, it allows you to control where the web browser loads the page that you're referencing in your href tag. So, for instance, in this situation here, I am loading up my-friends.html, which is one of our pages right here. So, when you say blank like this, underscore blank, this is one option. This is the attribute and this is the value, right? And yeah, that's how it always works. Attribute, value. Attribute, value. So what we're telling here, we're telling the browser to load up a new blank window or a new blank tab to load up this page here. So let's take a look at that. So check out our list of friends. Watch how the tab will spawn up here. There we go. Now, if we load up, we close that. If we load up plans, now if you look at the plans code, check out our list of uh, my plans. You notice that the there's no target. It's just a simple hyperlink tag that we uh, we know about now. So let's try that out. My plans. See, my plans just loads right into the same page. So we go back home, click on my friends, it loads a new tab. So that's, uh, we go back again, loads another new tab. So you see, that is what the target attribute does. Now, we have other options. We have other options. I'm gonna take off the caps. Caps is okay, but I just prefer lowercase. Save that. So let's reload our home page again. Now we'll look at the source code. You see target equals self. And all that means is that when you load this link, just load it in the same tab. And there it goes, right? That's just the way it normally works. That's the uh, that's what you call the default behavior.